Hi everybody. Today I'm going to do a flip through on a few Halloween junk journals I made. Um, the covers are 6x8. Well, they're all the same, 6x8. I got these from a thrift store and I thought I'd, these would be good junk journals because they got that orange stitching down there. So I got them, I think they're about 75 cents. And this one I already did um, a short video and I'm not going to go through this one because um, this one I'm keeping. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. That's the first one I did. And here's the second one. And this is the third one. And these two are for sale. Okay, so this is just a frame. And then this is a napkin. Much podged in there. And some embroidery. Actually from the machine. Sewing machine. It's a tassel, small tassel, it's detachable. And here is the fastener. And let's open it up. First page. A library card and a feather. Some material I match podged onto the page. First tag. Some sewing on that. You'll see this row too. Um, this is, uh, I just painted this and then I ripped it to create that effect. Some more of that material. Acetate envelope. And this digital kit is from Calico Collage. Uh, hollowed, hollowed Gothic, I think it's called. I know I had it for a while and I thought I'm just going to use the rest of it. Flashcard. Scary doll. <laughs> yeah, like a lot, a lot of sewing throughout. Ribbons. Envelopes, tuck spots. Lots of ephemera. That just flips down. Our dig. And symbol stuff all enough. Yeah, it's just more journaling space. It's empty. I like one there. I walk aside. There's some more journaling space. Coffee died. This is the middle. I don't know if I mentioned, but all these are single signatures. This paper is from uh, Martha Stewart. I gotta flip it this way. <laughs> and hold. So the paper.
all the images I got, I believe, off Pinterest. Some more ephemera. And some tags. And this is a text pad as well. And this is the Kensington stone they found in Minnesota. The Vikings brought it over. It's, I know it's not Halloween, but it kind of looked Halloween, so I threw it in there. <laughs> All right, that's the end of this one. Um, now we'll get on to the second one right away. It's a tassel. Detachable. Here's the closure. Here's the ribbon. What takes here? This is a court paper from the Salem Witch trial. Copy of it. I'm going to do that in there. And then this goes underneath here. It's just that napkin that's much podged on paper. And with the a rusty, it's not really rusty safety pin, but I use patina in this junk journal um, to make them look rusty. All the jewelry and stuff I use patina on. So that goes there. This one, the charm again, and set fabric again, much much done. And use my vintage typewriter to Type this on, and it says, and I was in the darkness, so darkness I became. I thought that was kind of spooky. It's <laughs> more of that paper. And more images from the internet. Kind of try to make it more vintage-ish. <laughs> This is the center of this signature. And it's got some charms here, hanging down here. A little banner. I just love her. <laughs> so neat. Some more of that vellum paper. And then this is more of that fabric and I just put buttons on there. Some buttonholes.
this is the last page. All right, and that's the last page. And there's the back cover. And that's it. Um, thank you for watching. This one must have been falling out somewhere. <laughs> um, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.